What is going on everybody? Today we're going to be looking at the Kawa Robot Robotic Suitcase. This is probably something you didn't know you needed, but I digress because it is awesome. I've already taken it out. I've already done a lot of testing with it. Super stoked about it. Um, it kind of solves one of those things that you didn't know you needed, but you could probably live without. You know, if you're holding something and you are in the airport and you're, maybe you're texting, maybe you're doing some work, uh, this thing's going to follow you automatically. So, this is the fella right here. Okay, let's open it up. Let's get into it. Uh, pretty compact. Uh, it's got the standard kind of compartmentalized little pieces here. There you go. So, got zipper zipper. This is, I believe, uh, where you put your clothes and stuff like that. You know, odds and ends. Um, so let's get into more of the uh, electrical features. You guys know what suitcases are, so let's get away from that and actually go into uh, what makes it different. So right here is the battery. This is what you charge. This thing is huge. It is a 6400 milliamp per hour deal. You can take it out. You can actually charge your phone tablet, whatever, with it. So actually, you'll have to take that out of the um, of the suitcase itself and give it to the stewardess uh, when you do get on the airplane because it's it's too big. The battery's too big to uh, you know to bring on a plane. So let's fold this bad boy up. Comes standard with a lock. Um, there we go. Uh, right now, I think the default is zero zero zero. I haven't you know changed that yet. And let's get into more of the automatic features. Actually, uh, right here is another really, really cool feature. We've got two USB ports. You stick right in there. You can charge your phone while you're on the go. If your cord's long enough, you can be doing it while walking. Uh, all right, so let's get into this. All right, so first off, you're gonna wanna turn on the device. Which I believe you just hold it, and there we go. We've got it all lit up. Let's close this guy. I think this lock is supposed to light up as well. Maybe not. Okay. Oh, there it is. Okay, so it lights up once you kind of change the code, so then you can't open it. Now it's saying that it's locked. There you go. So we've got this on, and let's take that up. Right now it is in manual mode, so it won't follow you. However, when you do hit this button, now it is following me. It knows to follow me. Let me open this door. There we go. See, it does have obstacle avoidance and it stays pretty dang close to you. Go. Let's turn around and see what this kind of looks like. Here we go. All right, so it actually has a pretty good turn radius. Let's go back in here. There we go. As you can see, there's nothing pulling this guy. This thing is fully automatic. Okay, let's just spin in a circle here and see how well it actually manages to, you know, take these 90s. Let's say I want to just spin around in the airport. There we go. Okay, so it did a full 360. What you do is you put your hand back on this, and that releases the wheel. So there are these small robotic wheels underneath it. That releases that, and that it allow, allows you to bring it back into manual mode. So guys, that is it for the Kawa Robot. Really cool stuff. It comes with a charger. Um, this charger, I think you can put different, yeah, you can put different um, uh, different electrical out, outlets in here. Uh, maybe you have to purchase those separately because right now it's just the American one. So guys, that is it. That's the Kawa Robot. I will see you guys in the next episode. Bye.